Hey guys, today I'm going to show you the Bump Boss node. That's a pretty simple one, so I think it's going to be a short video. So the Bump Boss is a node that gives you the possibility to create a emboss effect over another image. So basically you have two inputs. One is going to be the texture you use to create an emboss. And the other is going to be the original image you want to apply the emboss effect onto. So I'm starting from a blank nuke again, so you guys can redo that at home. Our regular checkerboard. And then I'm going to create a noise with quite some details like maybe something there you go something like this and we're going to use that as the first input so if you look into the documentation you can see that it says bump boss produces an emboss effect by overlaying input a over input b rather than offsetting a single input image like the emboss node so what it says basically is that it is kind of like the emboss node, but instead of using only one image that you apply an emboss onto, you can apply an emboss with a texture onto another image. So in this case, the texture will be the noise and the image we want to apply lighting effect emboss on will be the checkerboard. So let's look at our result first. So I can see we don't see much yet. And there's a few parameters you can play with in order to see more. The main one I would say is the light height. If you crank that up, you're going to start seeing so we have to do it quite a bit but let's say I'm gonna put something really high so we see it right now you start seeing the noise creating a volume effect onto the checkerboard and that's basically what this node is doing from this you have a few parameters you can play with the first thing is the center and the light position so the center and the light position are working together so you have to look at it as the center is where your all image would be and the light position is where the light would be relative to your image you can see here when i'm rotating the light position around the center you can see that the lighting is changing accordingly so the direction of the light will go from the light position to the center so you can see here in this area uh, the light position is over there the center is over there and here we have some kind of little hill and the light is hitting it this way the shadow is on this way that's the basic of the node and then we can go through the parameters real quick uh, light position we just uh, reviewed that image center we just reviewed that so we can put it wherever we want but usually i put it in the center as well uh, the light height if you change this parameter it's going to make the volume appear deeper or shallower the bump size is the size of the emboss filter so uh, the more you crank it the more you're going to see uh, deeper volumes as well but also is going to kind of blur your effect a little bit so i usually leave it at one, I think it's a good value to get the most detail. And then the light intensity is another parameter that you can play with that will make the light stronger. The only thing you have to watch for is that if you go on to another value than one, then you will change the original values of your image overall. So see here, we are adding a light effect, but overall the image kind of looks the same brightness. But if you put a light intensity at two, then you will see that now my image is getting brighter. And if you put it at 0 0.5, it's getting much darker. So basically one is a value where the light is not affecting the overall value of your image. So that's why I usually I keep it at that. And then the last parameter is the minimum shadow intensity. And this is to kind of grade the overall shadows on your on the effects. So if you look at an area like this one that has a, a darker shadow, you will see that if you slowly go up, on this value it will start to kind of clamp the value of the shadow from the bottom up right so also i usually leave it pretty low so i still have some value you know and that's basically it i hope it helped um, if you guys have uh, questions please leave it in the comments and if you have suggestions on nodes that you want to see just let me know and leave the comments as well